Well, we are all um, used to hear genetically modified organisms, GMO, when it comes down to vegetables and fruits. But what does um, it mean in relation to human beings? Our advancements in understanding genetics, uh, when applied to humans, of course, brings with itself some ghosts from the past, namely eugenics programs. In modern society, we are re-entering uh, a phase in which the establishment of what should be allowed and what should not be allowed when programming our future generation of human beings is ethically acceptable and here we will try to look at some of the issues that have characterized the last decade and the way in which some new technologies and um, uh, new knowledge have allowed uh, scenarios that until recently uh, were seen as science fiction to take place. So for example, uh, not long ago, mitochondrial replacement therapy, which is basically uh, a technique that allows for a combination of three genetic parents, although one of them minimally uh, through their DNA to give birth to a child that shares the DNA of three individuals. It's so-called in the media, the three parents' babies. The, the grounds for allowing this technique to take place is, according to some of course, based on the fact that it's therapeutic and therefore ethically acceptable. But aside from the fact that that can be questioned, like all the issues that we are debating here, uh, we cannot escape the fact that there are also some aspects uh, concerning therapy in relation to uh, the possibilities that genetics, gene editing and so forth allows us that uh, really pushes to um, wonder what should we want to change in um, future generations and what is ethically acceptable and what is not. Where should we, if at all, um, draw a line? Some position will be extremely open-minded towards any uh, possibility that we have to implement um, knowledge in, the, in genetics, even reaching um, situations of chimeras, for example. So basically e implementing in normal human beings uh, qualities that normally uh, would belong to other species. And others are instead uh, more careful in uh, trying to define uh, and assess what in truth is um, an illness, what needs to be treated through a therapeutic tool that in this particular case can be genetics. And we will look into that uh, and again trying to stress how this uh, accessible or uh, nearly accessible in some instances technology uh, should be analyzed through the ethical lenses that hopefully this course will provide.